Good day, everyone, and welcome to Learn English with Blaine. And this is your intermediate dictation number 56. And in this video, we are going to focus on the past continuous to refer to an action that was happening in the past before another past action. So again, we are going to use the past continuous to refer to an action that was happening in the past before another past action, before another past action started. Do you have your pen and paper ready? Because remember that you are going to listen and then write what you hear. In this video, there will be five dictations and I will say each one three times. Now, often past continuous sentences will have a past continuous verb and a simple past verb. So after you write the sentence on your paper, you are going to underline the past continuous verb and the simple past verb. So again, we are going to focus on past continuous verbs and simple past verbs. Here is an example. If I say Frank was leaving the house when Tommy came home, Frank was leaving the house when Tommy came home. Now, when we look at this, we can see the past continuous is going to be was leaving. So in other words, there's going to be a verb with an ing on it. This is the past continuous form. And then we're going to also look for the, um, the simple past form as well. So Frank was leaving the house when Tommy came home. Now what this means is that Frank was in the process of leaving. So maybe he was getting his jacket, he was putting on his shoes, and he was going out the door. And then while he was in the process of doing that, suddenly Tommy came home. So what that means is that this action was happening first, and then afterwards, before this action was finished, this action started. Um, I am in the process of making a video exactly about this verb tense, and that will be available for you in, it will be on September the 8th, and I will link it in the description box below this video. But anyways, that's for later. For now, let's focus on our dictation. Okay, dictation number one. Dictation number one. I was cleaning the garage when Maria began to cook supper. Period. I was cleaning the garage. I was cleaning the garage when Maria when Maria began to cook supper when Maria began to cook supper I was cleaning the garage when Maria began to cook supper, period. I was cleaning the garage when Maria began to cook supper. Now, can you find the, pre the past continuous verb and the simple past verb? Okay, so let's take a look. So I was cleaning, so this was happening, and then this happened. So I was cleaning, and then a few minutes later, Maria began to cook supper. So we have was cleaning, this is past continuous, and then began, of course, is simple past. Okay, let's move along to our next dictation, number two. We were watching a really exciting movie when Sally came home from the office, period. 
We were watching. We were watching. A really exciting movie. A really exciting movie. When Sally came home, when Sally came home from the office, from the office, period. Okay, we were watching a really exciting movie when Sally came home from the office. Period. We were watching a really exciting movie when Sally came home from the office. Okay, now can you find the past continuous verb and the simple past verb? Okay, so were watching and then came home. So in other words, you were watching the movie, you were doing this action, watching a really exciting movie, and then partway through the movie, then Sally came home. So this was happening first, and then while you were doing this, Sally came home. Okay, so let's move along to the next dictation. Dictation number three. The neighbors were shopping at the local grocery store when the storm began. Period. The neighbors were shopping. The neighbors were shopping at the local grocery store at the local grocery store when the storm began when the storm began period The neighbors were shopping at the local grocery store when the storm began. Period. The neighbors were shopping at the local grocery store when the, when the storm began. Okay, now again, we're going to look for the past continuous verb and the simple past verb. Okay, and those are right here. The neighbors were shopping. The neighbors were shopping. And then finally, the, the simple past verb is when the storm began. So in other words, the neighbors were shopping at the store. And then while they were in the process of shopping, then the storm began. So we are talking about two simple past um, actions. This was going on and then this happened. And both of these actions are in the past. Okay, let's move along to our next dictation number four. Janice was driving to Calgary when she heard she got a new job. Period. She is at home now. Period. Janice was driving. Janice was driving to Calgary. To Calgary. When she heard, when she heard, she got a new job. She got a new job. She is, period. She is at home now. She is at home now. 
period. I'll say that once more. Janice was driving to Calgary. Janice was driving to Calgary when she heard she got a new job. When she heard she got a new job. Period. She is at home now. Okay, so let's take a look. Janice was driving to Calgary when she heard she got a new job. Period. She is at home now. Period. Janice was driving to Calgary when she heard she got a new job. She is at home now. Now, in this um, dictation, you will find a simple sorry, a past continuous verb, and we will find the simple past verb that happened while this action was happening. Okay, so Janice was driving. Janice was driving, so this was the past continuous action. And then while she was doing this, she heard, she heard. And then we have another, um, another verb here. She got a new job. This is also simple past, but this, the main verb here is she was driving to Calgary when she heard. So in other words, this was happening and then this action happened in that process while she was in this process. Okay, we're going to now go to our fifth and our final dictation, number five. Number five. The dogs were barking very rudely when John and Roger came by to visit. The dogs were barking. The dogs were barking very rudely, very rudely when John and Roger, when John and Roger came by to visit, period, came by to visit, period. The dogs were barking very rudely when John and Roger came by to visit. Period. The dogs were barking very rudely when John and Roger came by to visit. So again, let's look for those two verbs. We're looking for a past continuous verb and we're looking we are looking for the simple past verb. And those are right here. So we've got were barking, right? The dogs were in this process. And then while they were doing that, John and Roger came by. So this is a phrasal verb. Two words that together make one verb. So again, this, this was happening first, and then this happened in the middle of that action but they are both past actions. So I want to give you a note, everyone. So right now I'm currently working on a video to explain the past continuous verb tense. The link for that video and other helpful links will be posted below in the description box of this video on Friday, September the 8th, 2023. Thank you for your patience. So I am working on other videos and I will post those in the description box of this video and they will be there on or before Friday, September the 8th, 
2023. And again, I want to thank you for your patience, everyone, for that. I'm currently working on building on my website and making more videos. So I thank you for your patience. And uh, again, I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank you for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below this video. And as always, if you like this video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon in the next video.